Hello and welcome to our new Ablebit show where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Today we're talking about Walmart, Alexa, e-waste, and more. Let's get going. The pandemic has unfortunately caused high unemployment, therefore people are out searching for jobs. Microsoft is coming up with a possible solution to the problem by providing free digital skills training on LinkedIn Learning. The company plans on training 25 million people around the world by the end of this year. Microsoft President Brad Smith said, one of the key steps needed to foster a safe and successful economic recovery is expanded access to the digital skills needed to fill new jobs. More electronics equals more e-waste, and 2019 was a year for the record books. Globally, we generated 53.6 million metric tons of discarded e-waste last year. That's the equivalent of over 4.2 million dump trucks, and the number is expected to double by 2030. One of the major problems with e-waste is that it contains high amounts of mercury, which is a neurotoxin that affects our brain. As today's new products become tomorrow's trash, Scott Castle is thinking about ways to reduce e-waste before it gets out of control. Castle founded the nonprofit Product Stewardship Institute and says it's not only that our oceans are filling with plastic, but our land is filling with electronic waste. Empty Walmart parking lots are no longer just for overnight campers. The retail giant plans on converting 160 of its parking lots into drive-in theaters for the summer. As movie theater chains are struggling to reopen, drive-in theaters are making a resurgence like it's 1950. Walmart plans to feature movies from the Tribeca Film Festival, but have not yet announced if moviegoers will have to pay for admission. It will also be selling concessions to moviegoers through their curbside pickup service. Is Alexa watching Game of Thrones with you? Alexa. From Sunset. There is no I'm the queen, you mean? Privacy concerns have been raised over popular voice assistants like Alexa, Google Home, and Siri. When these devices wake, they are recording a portion of what is said and often transcribed and checked by employees to improve word recognition. Alexa, alarm off. This could result in potential private conversations that can end up in company logs. If you're concerned about this, the best thing to do is to turn off, unplug, or block the voice assistants from listening until needed. Or just don't buy one. Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo are making a return to the big screen. Nickelodeon and Paramount are teaming up with Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg, and James Weaver to make a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. The previous Michael Bay Turtles flick combined human actors with computer-generated turtles, but the new movie will be all CGI. Now don't get this production confused with the live-action film Nickelodeon is separately making for Netflix. Deepfake, a technology used to alter video and audio, makes its filmmaking debut. Welcome to Chechnya, an HBO film that shines light on human rights abuse, used deepfake to minimize risk of the victims involved. The use of this technology in the HBO film required consent from the anonymized people and the activists who volunteered their faces. Ryan Laney, the visual effects expert on the film, says that his technology doesn't actually count as deepfake. Laney says deepfakes as a practice are inherently non-consensual. As the technology is still new, there is currently no federal law that explicitly regulates the production of deepfakes. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thanks for tuning in, Dable Bits. We'll see you later. Bye bye.